when I was about 20 is when my lungs really, really started to hit a low. Um, so I've always had a lung function of about 80 to 90. My lung function is now at low 40s. Um, we've tried pretty much everything to bring me back up, but um, because of the amount of scarring I have, I most likely won't go above the 50-ish line. Um, but I've, over the past three years, have been unable to do a lot of things that I used to be able to do. So playing soccer is really, really difficult for me now. Um, running, my goal, my dream is to run a marathon. And as of right now, even walking up the stairs, I um, usually cough so much that I throw up. Um, I don't really sleep through the night anymore. Um, I usually wake up at least once in the night to have like a cough attack and I usually end up throwing up. Um, I'm always exhausted, which is something um, growing up, anyone that you ask, I always had this like so much energy and I was always like on the go. And as of the past three years, I've just been completely drained. Um, it affects my schoolwork. Um, so I'm pretty much feeling like I'm seeing myself decline very, very quickly, and the doctors are as well, and we kind of don't know how to put a stop to it at this point. We've kind of been waiting for this miracle drug called Trikafta, uh, and it's finally been approved in Ontario. So this was the best news that we've ever gotten for people with cystic fibrosis. Um, so like you said, it was approved in June. Um, and in October, uh, we've been working really hard for me to get Trikafta because it's pretty much my last hope. Um, and in October, I was speaking on the phone with uh, Manulife and the Village Program, who is in charge of uh, dealing with Trikafta, and we were speaking to my insurance company, um, Manulife, and they the woman on the phone did say that I would be 100% covered. Um, so we got this in a verbal, verbal statement. Um, and then the following week, I received an email from the FACET program um, telling me that I would be declined the medication. Uh, the reasoning that they gave me is the cost outweighs the benefits of the medication. What is your response to that? Uh, my response to that is that you can't put a price on someone's life. Um, I think basically right now it is a matter of life or death. Um, and as a, you know, a 23 year old, you're and growing up, you're so healthy. And then all of a sudden you hit this low spot um, and then you're told oh there's, there's this amazing drug it's here it's uh, it's gonna save you and then it's kind of ripped away from you um, yeah. yeah without Trikafta I don't really plan for my future um, because there's this fear that I won't have a future um, so I'm very live life like it's your last moment because it could be um, but with Trikafta I see um, accomplishing the goals that I've always set out for myself which is I've always had a passion to teach um, I've always wanted a family that is my absolute dream um, I have a very loving boyfriend and I know that he is the person I want to spend my life with and there's always that fear that I won't be able to. Um, and I know with Tricaft I would be able to do that and um, be able to start a family and have a house and everything that you dream of as someone without CF. Um, I would, I see the potential in my life and living a long life with Tricaft.